today I'm looking at running Playwright with both VoiceOver and NVDA on macOS and Windows, respectively, to test drive an implementation of a simple dialog in React. So here's what that looks like. If I run the Playwright tests with the VoiceOver project, I will see VoiceOver launch in a Safari browser. It's loading the page, going to the main content, focusing the button, clicking it, checking that the email field has autofocus, pressing escape, checking that the trigger that the dialog closes and that the original trigger has focus again. So that looks like this. Shows dialog, go to the page, open the rotor for window spots, move to the button, activate the button, get the dialog, check that the email address has focus, press escape, dialog should not be visible, and the button should be focus. Now, the majority of screen reader users on desktop are not using VoiceOver, they're using either JAWS or NVDA. JAWS and NVDA are more similar to one another than they are to VoiceOver. They have different navigation modalities and different functionality that is pretty, that deviates pretty significantly from how VoiceOver works. So in order to guarantee uh, that we have coverage on the primary use case for blind users, we also want an NVDA test. To do this, I've imported GuidePup as a fixture. NVDA, I've imported NVDA from GuidePup as a fixture into my Playwright uh, configuration. You can see here that as part of the setup and the fixture, I'm starting NVDA, I'm activating Firefox, and I'm recording the page and using NVDA. In the spec, this looks very familiar uh, to the voiceover test. We're visiting the page, we're exiting focus mode, pressing tab, uh, which is actually redundant, but pressing tab, activating the button, expecting the dialog to be visible, checking the last announcement, pressing, uh, pressing escape, expecting the dialog to be invisible, getting the button and expecting it to be focused. So very similar setup. However, we don't have an execution environment for this test on Mac OS. And in order to get around that, I'm using GitHub Actions to set up a workflow for Windows latest, using GuidePub's uh, configuration for NVDA, and then installing Firefox and running the tests in the context of a Windows environment. When I push the file up, it looks something like this. The execution takes a little while. Uh, this took three minutes. So relative to the voiceover implementation, it's not quite fast enough to use for test-driven development, but it is a good safeguard against finding issues that crop up in NVDA that were not present in voiceover. And this current run is continuing, but for this previous run that passed, I can look at the saved recordings and see that NVDA is loading in Firefox nightly. It's navigating to the page, it's activating the button, opening the dialog, and auto-focusing the email field. 
like I said, this is not a perfect solution for TDD. I can imagine a scenario where uh, author writes tests for voiceover and uses that for test driven development locally in a Mac environment, or if you're using a Windows environment, by all means, you can use GuidePub for TDD. Uh, the same, the inverse will be true that you'll have to run voiceover on a GitHub action, but that's possible too. I want to thank Craig Morton for all of his work on GuidePub. Check it out at github.com slash guidepub. Guidepub. Here. Or I believe guidepub.dev. Yep, there it is. Thanks, y'all.